welcome or welcome back. In today's video, we are opening up some Amazon packages that I received and shout out to Miss Lisa for um, her generous um, spirit. She, uh, I wanted to shout out to her because she sent me an email a little a little while ago. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think I mentioned in one of my older <laughs> videos that I was wanting to get another one of these wiggly stands for my... <laughs> for my phone. So she sent me uh, a generous gift and uh, I'm just waiting for it in the mail. But in the meantime, I have other packages that I'm going to be opening. Um, for some reason, uh, I should have just, I should have looked at it before I ordered it, but I ordered the phone stand and I didn't realize that it would take, it's going to take like almost a month to get here. And I'm like, why the heck is it taking so long? It's coming from China. And I didn't realize it was coming from China. When I bought this stand, it didn't take that long. I'm not quite sure why. So that's like the one thing I won't be opening. <laughs> but when it arrives, I will show you guys. So I'll show you. Um, in the meantime, we'll, we'll be opening up some packages and uh, going over the items that are inside. Um, all of these items are for my Etsy shop and I'm so excited to start new projects. Um, a lot of the stuff that I've been doing lately has been experimental. Um, a while back, towards Easter, I was experimenting with name tags for baskets. And honestly, um, I liked the idea, but the actual product, like once it was out in the real world, it wasn't to my liking, so I kind of scrapped it. But I did make some really cute tote bags, so I might be doing those in the future. We'll see. Um, if you guys want to see... Um, those tote bags, I do have TikToks that I made. If you're on TikTok, you follow me on TikTok, just look up my name, Jennifer Good. Um, it might be under Jennifer Good TGL. So, um, yeah, find me on TikTok. <laughs> but in the meantime, um, I've just been kind of experimenting with other projects and other things that I can make during the year. And I'm like, my kids are playing with Legos in the background, so that's what you hear. Um, I made this cute little zipper bag that I've been using myself because I want I like to test my products. So I've been using myself this cute little zipper bag and I've been keeping my, uh, I've got my bobbins in here from my embroidery machine and I've got like my scissors that I'll be using. I'm going to use these today and some other little bits and uh, little, little kind of, oh, I keep my USB in here too. So, so yeah, this is a super cute little bag that I made. Um, I did make another bag that was much smaller. It was a, it's like a little, like about this big, not that big. It's around here somewhere. Um, it's perfect for like, like AirPods, perfect for AirPods. But, um, if you want, uh, if you want me to show you how to make this, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise I will keep experimenting. I did buy a bunch of things that I needed and or wanted, um, but yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I have my camera zoomed out as much as I can. Um, I'll try and make sure I stay in the frame. I'll grab my scissors here and we're gonna start opening this first box. And I've just accumulated these boxes over like a week or two. And I figured I might as well do a fun little opening boxes video because it's fun to open Amazon boxes. I don't know anybody that hates opening Amazon boxes. Okay. Oh, awesome. Okay, so I I bought these Wonder Clips and I've been hearing all kinds of awesome things about them. So I bought some for myself. They're actually really inexpensive. So um, all the items that I purchased in this video will be linked down below just so you have an idea of you know how much they are and um, if you want them for yourself. So and then it came with a book. It's my this is my uh, receipt. It came with a book. Interesting. Interesting. That's kind of cool. I wasn't expecting that. So this. This is a this is made by Clover and apparently another company called Wa Wawak. Interesting. I did not know that this came with it. It's like a little news thing where oh okay, never mind. It's a catalog. <laughs> they sell other things too. 
They sell a bunch of threads. Well, I get all my threads on all stitch because um, I use Madeira thread because I usually I usually use uh, like embroidery thread. They've got zippers. Interesting. This is kind of neat. Buttons. Shoulder pads. <laughs> Who uses shoulder pads? <laughs> No offense to anybody who's watching this that wears shoulder pads still. I just think it's kind of funny. Um, they've got all kinds of stuff in here. Dang. Okay, well. Interesting. Okay. Well, that came with that. So, Wonder Clips. I kind of want to get my hands on these. My daughter found my packages on the floor. So it comes in a plastic, like it is like a plastic around it. I guess so it doesn't ship, shift while shipping. And then it's like a sleeve, so it comes out. If I can get it out. Well, that's cool. It kind of shows you how it operates. Oh, I can get this out. There we go. And I don't have to buy a separate box for it, which is nice. Ooh, I like the feel of these. These are nice and strong. They don't feel cheap at all. Okay, I'm really glad I got these. Because I was looking at another set of Wonder Clips that weren't Clover. This is by Clover. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to splurge a little bit and get the more expensive ones. And I'm so glad I did. Wow. Yeah, these are nice. They feel nice on my fingers. Okay, those are the Wonder Clips. Okay, so I'm gonna set these aside. I'm gonna put this somewhere. Um, I like to keep my receipts. I might just stick everything in this bag. Especially if it's garbage. I'll keep these out. And I'll put those aside. Okay. Okay, next little box. Let's see if I can open this one. These are my old curving scissors. I still keep them because they have use, you know, even though I'm not using them for applique anymore. And this is my basting spray. Okay, so. I was using five, four, hold on, 505. Yeah, it's called 505. I was using that, but the price went up. And you're basically paying for uh, the brand. So I saw this and I was like, you know what? This is a great alternative to 505. And it's also temporary bond. So that's important. Okay, so um, this is perfect for patches and. Um, felt and anything that you don't like hoop into the hoop you just kind of it's like it's you're floating it on top of the on top of the stabilizer so this is perfect for that and I got this because I'm going to make some more patches and um, I'm planning on doing other things too so this is perfect for that I believe I've used this basting adhesive before um, and I liked it so the only reason I tried 505 because Almost everybody that I watch on YouTube has 505, so I was like, is there something special about it? Honestly, not really. <laughs> it's the same stuff, so that's that's this stuff. So, basting adhesive, spray and bond. Okay, this one's kind of bigger. And sorry for the wiggly camera. Oop, I missed. Ooh, <laughs> I'm jiggling the camera. <gasps> I don't edit my videos. Why should I? <laughs> this is what it is. <laughs> okay. You get the wiggles and everything. I'm gonna move this over here. All right, so I'm excited about this box. Because this box contains a lot of the stuff 
that I've been wanting to try and or wanting to um, have in my shop. Um, okay, so I might, I might honestly just make a video just about this. Because um, this is, uh, I saw this on Amazon and I thought, okay, first of all, it's adorable. Look at it. It's so stinking cute. And I'm very much into the Japanese culture. I don't know if you know this about me, but I love anime. I love Japanese food. And one of these days, my husband and I will end up going over there and visiting Japan. And I'm actually learning Japanese currently. Um, I'm not fluent at all, <laughs> but I'm learning how to count right now. So, um, I just saw this and I thought this was adorable. Um, this is a pin cushion. So it lays flat. So it doesn't roll around. Um, let me grab my tomato. As you've seen in many, many, many of my videos, I have this tomato. Unfortunately, this tomato has eaten a lot of my needles. And I'm thinking about actually doing just a video about um, transitioning all this to here. But I think I want to cut this open, y'all. I, I want to cut this open and see how many needles are actually in this tomato because. Um, I don't know if you, I don't know if you've had this problem. I'm, I'm sure you have, but you know, when you have a needle that has no string on it and then all of a sudden it kind of goes in and it goes in and can't, you can't get it back out again cause it's stuck and you try and push and push and push. Yeah. I've had this problem and I'm curious to see how many needles are in here and what they look like. Um, so I might do just one video about that and I'm a little excited about taking this thing apart cause I don't know what's inside this. Like... Um, it might be, I don't know, it, like, it's kind of, you hear it? Like, what is that? I have no idea. So I might just dedicate a whole video on what's inside this tomato and, um, how many needles I can recover from it. So that's what this is for, is to replace this thing, because I'm totally done with this tomato thing. It has served its purpose, but it's time to move on. How cute is this? Oh my goodness, this is so darling. I'm actually gonna test it out right now. Oh, and it it stops. I love that. Okay, so this is great, look at this. It doesn't go through. That's what I wanted. I wanted something that I didn't have to worry about losing my needles, because I have lost many needles in there. Um, I have recovered some though, I, like if I push it enough, I'll recover some, but this is perfect. Oh, I'm so excited to use this. So excited. Okay. Something else in here that I'm really excited about. Okay, so <sighs> quick story. <laughs> um my daughter, my oldest daughter, was playing with my tripod and she snapped the bottom of my phone holder on my tripod. Actually, let me see if I still have it. I do. Okay, okay. So, my daughter was really upset about this, but look at that. She cracked it right open. And the entire mechanism that screws into the tripod just like disintegrated. <laughs> so I saw these and they were super cheap and you get two of them. And I said, Hey, I'm going to buy that. Yeah. They're the, they're the exact same size. So you see how the screw, the screws into the tripod. Well, she decided to crack mine <laughs> and I'm like, shoot, how am I supposed to use my tripod? So yeah, that's my old one. And it's totally broken. Obviously, I can't use it anymore. So I got two new ones. So excited to use those. I'll just keep those in the box for now. And throw that out. Okay. Oops, sorry. Jeez. I keep knocking that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Next up. Oh man. Okay, I've been wanting a mini heat press since they came out and I don't know how long it's been since they came out. Um, I can't even tell you right now, but I'm so, so excited to use this because I actually start, I want to actually start using my Cricut guys. I've had my credit Cricut for like a year and a half going on two years and I've barely used it. I have used it, 
but I want to use, I want to make some stuff that, that are, that are small, smaller items. And I want to be able to use the HTV or whatever. I'm a big fan of HTV Raunt. I use their HTV and I've loved the product. So, um, I did some price checking and found this alternative to the Cricut one. I know a lot of people love the Cricut mini press, but I just, I can't justify spending like 35 to almost $40 on a mini press. This one was half the price. So super excited to use this and to learn how to use it. Um, I don't have one of those heating pads, but I do have a, like uh, a fold up, <clears throat> excuse me, a fold up ironing board that I'm going to use instead. So I'm on a budget here. <laughs> So I am so excited to open this up. I'm not going to open it up right now, but uh, maybe in another video. Let me know down in the comments if you want to actually see what's in this box, um, and then I'll be happy to show you. Next up on the list. Okay. Oh, we've got this box. And I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I've been wanting to make these for quite some time, and I finally was able to get the hardware. To do it I've seen these all over YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and all over the place these oh my gosh they're so cute okay so this is the um, what are they called they are key fob hardware so it's key fob hardware I've been wanting to make key fobs and that's why I got the mini press because I want to actually like use HTV on the key fob to customize them. Um, I'm thinking about making some like end of school year teacher gifts for my kids' teachers. And I thought this was the perfect gift to do that with. And I've never used, I've never used these before. Interesting, it looks dirty. See how dirty that looks? I might need to get like a wipe or something and clean those off. Yeah, it's dirty. I mean, it is metal. They probably have to lube it up to get this, to get these, uh, I think it's like, it's like a plastic or, I'm not quite sure what material that is, but how else are they supposed to get that on? So I'm just gonna have to get something to, wipe that down because it's going to get on my fingers and I got a bunch of hardware so these are super cute oh my god okay so these are one inch um key fobs I figured I start small and work my way up they're kind of psychedelic very cool I wanted to play around with color a little bit and these are kind of, these are the gold, which would look really pretty. So I actually bought some material to go with any, any of these. So it, it works well. Um, this is a bronze. They call, what do they call it? Brushed, brushed bronze is what it's called. Silver, which is my go-to. I love silver. And I believe this is brushed. I think it's like black because there's regular black so this is like a like a I don't know if you open it up you can kind of see what I'm talking about kind of almost rustic-y looking kind of a metallic-y black color and then black which honestly I'm not a big fan of black it's easy it, you can see everything on it see how it's scratched but if I'm going to give this as a gift, it's not a big deal. So I would like to put these on my shop, but only if I see, like, if they, if, if they turn out how I want them to turn out, you know, you know how you see it in your head, but then in real life, it's like, you know what? This wasn't the best idea, but it wasn't the worst idea. <laughs> yeah. I love the gold. I'm surprisingly loving the gold. And I absolutely love the, I don't know what color you'd call that. Kind of like a multicolor green purple thing I like that okay i gotta wipe those down not right now but definitely putting them back in the plastic because i don't want them getting whatever oil is on here i wish it came with a sleeve or something 
that I could store it in. But yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, so this one. Ooh, okay. So I've been doing some research, and if you've bought from me, especially my patches, I use felt for my patches. Um, I've been wanting to do more traditional. I mean, felt is used a lot for patches, but I want I want to do something that is a little bit more durable. And so I actually bought some twill. And I've never worked with twill before. And already I can tell a huge difference. Wow. So this is the twill. And it comes folded, I believe. I think it's it's uh, 60 inches wide by a yard, I believe. I don't know. I have to look. I have to look on the listing, but if you if you guys want to look, I'll lift I'll list it down. But Look how different, this is so different compared to the felt that I work with, but it's sturdy and will not stretch. However, it will fray. So I'm more, I want to um, do some experimentation on using twill instead of felt. And the main reason is because I want to use heat and bond. So the heat and bond is what I use to do iron on patches and um, if you've ever worked with felt before, felt is not, it, it, they don't recommend you ironing felt um, because it has, it has some plasticky fibers mixed in. So it's like a, it's like a blended uh, fiber and plastic tends to melt. So I was always hesitant about doing heat and bond and I did I did tons of tests and um, they turned out well and they turned out fine, but I want a higher quality product. So I decided to get some twill and play around with twill. So I'll be making more twill patches and um, look forward to that. So I've got actually several, if I can get this in the bag. <laughs> I have several designs that I want to test out on this material and see how well it does. Okay, I can get this back in here. Okay, next we have one last thing in this box. Okay, new material, and I've never used it before. Interesting. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to get my hands on this stuff for quite a while. The, look how beautiful this is. Okay, the camera doesn't do it justice. It is so pretty. I'm gonna make the, so this is cork. And ooh, what the heck is that? Random giveaway. Oh, I got a free sample. Cool. I got a free sample. That's cool. I don't know if that's random giveaway. Hope you like it. Thanks. Oh, that's awesome. Very cool. This is a different color altogether. It's pretty though. It's a, uh, it's, I think it's red. It's like a red and it's got some shiny faux leather. So this is cork. And I've never worked with cork before, but I'm really excited to use it. And it looks like this might be big enough. I might be able to squeeze out a couple key fobs out of this. This is so, so, so cute. So cute. Okay, cool. Free giveaway. Um, I, oh, I'm already loving this cork right here. Oh my goodness. Oh, look how pretty this is. And here's the back of it. It's almost like, I don't know how you describe it, but you can hear, it's this, this will not fray. I can cut this and it won't fray. Oh, it's so pretty. I chose it because I loved the colors, but I didn't realize how pretty it would be up close. Look how shiny. <laughs> So with my key fobs, almost any color will go with this. Silver, even the gold would look spectacular. 
I wonder if the purpley... That would even look okay with it. Yeah, that would go well. And the gold is obvious. That would lo look great. Even, I think, the brushed bronze would look really good with that. Awesome. I love the flex of it's like an aquamarine color mixed with, I think, it looks like... Uh, it's not quite red. It's more like a fuchsia. It's like a fuchsia color, like a really dark fuchsia. Silver obviously looks good. Yeah, this would work for any of these. Awesome. They have more colors in the link below if you want to check out their different options for colors. I want to try all of them. But yeah, here's the back of it. Um, I'm going to break out my sewing machine and start using it because I need to start using it. <laughs> so they don't give you a lot. Um, this is doubled over. So this is, this is half of it and you flip it over and there's another bunch. So, um, but for the price, it's not too bad. Oh my gosh. Look at, this would be pretty as a wallet. This would be pretty as a bag, like a handbag. I'm even thinking about maybe, I don't think I'll have enough material, but I was thinking about making a pencil case, like pencil cases. I wanted to make a pencil case for my daughter. She has colored pencils and she's like, Hey mom, will you make me a bag? And I said, okay, <laughs> I might be able to do it. This might be like good for one side and then have this be the other side or something. But yeah, how fun. Okay, I got one more bag to open, guys. I'll put this back in its cool little sleeve. I like the way they packaged it. And I know that there's been reviews that say that they wish it wasn't folded. Honestly, I don't think it matters. Um, because you're just going to cut it up anyway. Last but not least, I'm excited for this one. Um, this one came yesterday as it was waiting for its buddies. And I'm still waiting on the phone holder. So I'll let you know. At least I'll let you know when it comes. <laughs> but it is ordered, I promise. Okay. It's just taking forever to get to me. Okay, can you guys guess what this is? Any guesses? If you've followed me on YouTube for this long, <laughs> or watched any of my videos, you should know what these are. <laughs> oh no, it's more Brusilicus. <laughs> are you surprised? I'm not surprised. Are you surprised? So I actually bought two of these. So here's one. And here's two. Because I saw them and I, saw, I thought, oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I'm not too, uh, I don't like the picture that they have here. It's so dark. If they had it, if the picture was brighter, that would be even better because these are butterflies, guys. Come on. Um, they have them on a tree, which I think you could do pretty much anything with these butterflies. I, my favorite picture that I saw of these was on a white branch, you know, like you can see at the fancy craft fairs where it's like a, a bunch of like painted branches in a vase and then you can hang stuff on them. Yeah, that's what I saw. Um, I'll put a picture probably in my Etsy shop because um, I plan on selling both of these kits that are made. And um, if you guys want me to do a tutorial on these, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you want to, if you, if you've done this kit, if you want to do this kit, if you want to see it made. Um, it looks fairly simple actually. There's only six ornaments. That's, that's actually pretty typical for a ornament kit and there's a lot of colors and I'm so excited to make these because spring is here and summer is coming and um, I want to put more spring and summer stuff in my shop anyway so I only have one thing that's kind of spring and summer and it's a rainbow what is it it's the rainbow wall hanging and I've had it on there for a while um, no bites, but I'm hoping maybe if I put some more up, <laughs> I'll get some bites, but yeah, that's all of the stuff that I have, uh, with me. I am still waiting on that phone holder. Um, it looks like this. 
<laughs> it looks like this. So I bought another one of these and I'm going to place it. It's going to be placed on my um, embroidery machine desk, most likely. Either here or here, somewhere with a lip on it. And I can do some, I might even put it over here. But um, yeah, I figured, you know, two is better than one. So I do have one of these coming as soon as it gets here. I'll let you know, but let me turn the camera around. Okay, so um, any, any of the items that you want me to, to open separately, let me know. Um, like the mini heat press, I haven't opened it yet. So um, I could dedicate a small video to opening it just to see um, what's inside, what it comes with, how it works, um, and all that stuff. So if you are interested in that particular mini press, let me know. Um, I will also be um, experimenting with cork. So look forward to that. Uh, I plan on bringing out my sewing machine, which I haven't done. Last time I used my sewing machine, I was fix I fixed something. What was it? I think it was a pair of pants. <laughs> my kid, one of my kids came home. Mom, I've got a hole in my pants. So I fixed it. Um, but that was the last time I used it. So it is not in my craft room, but it needs a home in here anyway. Um, but I don't, I don't have any room. I don't have any. I need to get some more desks in here. Um, but yeah, excited about the butterflies. And I wanted to get some more, but um, but that's all I have today. So um, again, if you want to learn what is in a tomato, <laughs> let me know. I really, I will actually. I, if you want to see it or not, I'm going to take this apart and we're going to see what's inside this tomato. Because... I want to use this and I want to see if I can recover any needles in here because I have lost a lot of needles. Um, I don't know if there's any in here to be honest. It could not, it, it, I could have recovered all of my needles. I just want to make sure because I've lost a lot of needles in here. So um, if you uh, are interested in uh, more videos, check out these videos right here, this video, this video, whichever one pops up on the screen and I'll see you in my next one.